Prepare to bask in unprecedented glory, because today I'll be explaining how the U.S. unemployment rate is at least 80 to 90 percent of the population. So when you look at a manipulated, phony, fabricated statistic, such as a U.S. workforce participation rate, you'll notice that it's anywhere from 61 to 63 percent of the population. That number is completely manipulated, to say the least. It does not factor in retirees nor students. Anyone ages four and up is capable of working. They can write blogs, they can create podcasts, they can create videos, they can learn how to program and elicit applications and video games in their spare time. So, when you factor those people into the equation, the workforce participation rate further plunges and it plummets. Furthermore, this uh, workforce participation rate statistic factors in people who earn money through extorted means and involuntary transactions as employed. People work for the state who generate money through extorted means or involuntary transactions should be constituted as unemployed. Why? Because if the state didn't exist, their jobs wouldn't exist. Under duress, I have to finance their jobs. In a free market, without any regulations, without taxation, their jobs could never, ever, 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 ever exist. People who partake in boondagos do not have real jobs. Furthermore, there's a copious amount of individuals who work in the private sector that generate wealth through coerced demand. They're financed and funded by coercive means. Let me give you an example. I do not want auto insurance, but I need to have it under duress. If I don't have it, then I cannot drive my private conveyance from point A to point B. I don't think it warrants the cost, but I need to because of regulations. Furthermore, I do not want health insurance, but if I don't want, if I don't have health insurance, I'll have to pay an exorbitant, lofty, massive penalty, and I'll be penalized monetarily. So, I do not control how my money's earmarked, I do not control how my money's allocated, so it's quite a shame and quite a pity. But without these regulations, these jobs that are financed by coarse means, by coarse demand, could never ever exist. These industries would be severely contracted because a myriad of people would opt out of auto insurance and health insurance and other plans that are financed by course demand. Alrighty, what else did I want to say? So, when you take all of this into account, you will realize that at best, at most, only 10 to 20 percent of the population is employed, meaning 10 to 20 percent of the population generates wealth through voluntary, peaceful, meaningful transactions. Other people who have so-called jobs partake in boondoggles or their jobs are financed through course and means. So, I cannot constitute anyone as being employed who generates wealth through extorted means, course demand, nor involuntary transactions. If everything was privatized, if we lived in a free market, if we lived in a capitalistic society, then The majority of these so-called jobs will never, ever, 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 ever be able to exist because no one would voluntarily finance them. So, I'm curious about your sauce appertaining to this issue. The unemployment rate is vastly underestimated. It's at least 80 to 90 percent of the population. So, one out of five people generates money through voluntary, peaceful, meaningful transactions. Other people who masquerade their employment status as employed generate money through extorted means, involuntary transactions, or through coarse demand. The free market, their jobs would never ever exist. They would cease to exist. So, I'm curious about your sauce. Disseminate them below in the comment section. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.